What's going on everybody, Nathan here with the Everyday Drinker bringing you guys a brand new episode of What's That Whiskey Friday. The whiskey of choice that we are cracking open today and having for the very first time is none other than Henry McKenna 10 year bottled and bond single barrel. Let's get right on into it. Before we crack this bad boy open, I wanna thank you guys so, so much for the love and support that you guys are bringing to the channel. We are sitting right at 380 subscribers at the time of recording this video. So, I've posted a short a couple of days ago uh, where you're doing a 400 subscriber Q&A. So make sure you guys leave some more questions down below on this video on questions that you have for me pertaining to bourbon, whiskey, the channel, anything in those regards that I can answer for a 400 subscriber Q&A. So make sure that you guys are commenting, subscribed, and liking this video. Let's crack this bad boy open. So Henry McKenna is a Heaven Hill product. It has a 10 year age statement on it. It is bottled in bond, so it is sitting right at 100 proof. Never had this bad boy before. I have heard some good and some bad things about it, saying that each uh, offering is different depending on the barrel and the year. But this one right here is specifically barrel number 11669. This was barreled on 2-2-2012. And other than that, that's all I have on this. So, let's pop the cork. It's a nice little pop. I like that. Let's give her a pour. Put that bad boy right back in there. Super excited for this, only because I didn't pay secondary or anywhere near it. I actually played, paid MSRP for this bottle. I'm, I believe I paid $38 for it a couple of weeks ago at one of our local um, food stores. But here we are with one of Fred Minnick's number one whiskeys that he gave the Top Dog Award to a couple of years back. But let's get right onto the nose. Ooh, some very soft caramels. Hot, it smells rye. That's a word. Very high in the rye. It smells higher than 100 proof off of the nose. Like, I can't really get down in there. It has a very nice oak, oak nose to it. A lot of oak with that, like I've said before in a lot of my reviews. Fresh cracked oak smells just like that. Again, ooh. A little bit of like a dark chocolate note right there. Ooh, a little bit of orange peel. Some citrus, some dry oak. Smells a little dusty, like a little like du peanut dust almost. Smells very, very nice. Let's get into the uh, palette here real quick. Oh, that's a lot of vanilla. That's a lot of, wow. The finish on that, it's still going. It is still going. That's vanilla, caramel, almost like if you guys have ever had, I just had it the other day and it, it, it's right there, uh, the vanilla Costco birthday cake. The super, super moist, just delicious Costco Kirkland's finest birthday cake. This is that in a glass. Holy bajoli, that is insane. Going back into the nose, I definitely get that vanilla again. That confectioner sugar is there as well. There's no burn whatsoever. That is delicious. Holy cow. It's such a heavy mouthfeel too. It's very oily. It coats your entire mouth. And that vanilla is so strong. But I do get a little bit of like an orange. No lemon. Like a sweeter orange. Man. A little bit of brown sugar there on the second sip. Maybe instead of brown sugar, maple 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 syrup, maybe a little maple brown sugar. That, ma that makes it a little bit more, uh, yeah, definitely a maple brown sugar. Oh my goodness. Wow. This, this bottle right here might be taking the cake as a top dog. And I know a lot of you guys have these bottles and you're afraid to open them 
because of the price that some people are paying for them and because you do get that that bottle that might not be that good but if you have barrel number 11669 open it up and enjoy it because I'm not finding anything unpleasant on this glass whatsoever. Now, it might open up later on down the line and find something that's unpleasant, but right off of the top of the bottle, oh my God. Just going back to it, I mean, I just, I get that vanilla birthday cake and the finish on this is so long lasting that when I go back to the sip, I still have that lingering vanilla from the previous sip it's so so good wow it's like i want to take this and figure out how to make pancakes with it because this is so good it tastes like it could be on top of a pancake or in a pancake batter i don't know how you would do that bourbon bourbon pancakes because this henry mckenna is so so good and the fact that I didn't pay secondary for it makes it that much better. Let me read you guys a little story about Henry McKenna himself. In 1837, a young man from Ireland known for his remarkable whiskey making skills came to America with his family's whiskey recipe that had been passed down for generations. Young Mr. McKenna settled in Kentucky and discovered the uniquely American drink known as bourbon. McKenna instantly took a liking to Kentucky whiskey and set out to create a better bourbon using his family's recipe. To ensure the highest quality, he insisted that his bourbon age in oak barrels before bottling. From this process, highly unusual for the time, emerged a remarkably smooth bourbon boasting a distinctive character. To preserve the integrity of Henry McKenna's original recipe, we have filled this bottle entirely from a single barrel aged through 40 Kentucky seasons. For this, Connoisseur's edition of Henry McKenna Single Barrel, it is appropriate to identify it as a bottled and bond, not only for history's sake, but also because it simply tastes extraordinarily right at 10 years old and 100 proof. This does taste right, and it is fantastic, fantastic juice. Now, I paid 38 for it. I don't think that I would go over $75. I really don't. And I think that it is hitting that $100 mark, that $80 mark. But if I couldn't find another one for MSRP and I saw it in a, in a store for $75, I think I might have to pick up a second bottle because this is fantastic juice, right? So make sure you guys leave your questions down below. Make sure you hit that like button, smash the comments, and make sure you are subscribed to the channel. Let's hit 400 subscribers as soon as possible. We also have amazing work coming with a collaboration with the channel that I can't quite announce right now, but once we get the full details, we will both let you guys know what's going on. Until next time, this has been Nathan with The Everyday Drinker. Cheers.